Vitar Jerusalem climbed up to first place in the Premier League standings for at least 24 hours on Saturday, while pressure on Maccabi Tel Aviv coach Jordi Kreif continued to grow following another disappointing draw, this time a 1-1 result with Ashdod SC Vitar defeated Hapoel Acre 3-1 on the road to move ahead of Hapoel Haifa and Hapoel Beersheba on goal difference. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, ID, var js, fjs equal d get elements patag name, s, 0, if, d get element beard, id, return, js equal d creatilment, s, js dot id equal id, js src equal slash slash connect facebook dot net slash n underscore us slash all js number xfbml equal 1 and app id equal 1634148068970. FJS parent node insert before, JS, FJS, document, script, Facebook JS SDK, Beersheba hosts Iron Ikeri Yachmana on Sunday, with Hapoel Haifa welcoming Maccabi Haifa in the Derby on Monday. Itagi Schechter's 10th minute opener for Baitar in Acre was cancelled out after 4 minutes by Lidham. Zeno. But Jerusalem still had the lead at the break following Tal Kahila's spectacular volley from 20 metres out in the 37th minute by Tar was content with defending in the second half, only clinching the three points in stoppage time through Gaten Varen's strike after Acre had lost Abdi Farhat to a red card in the 84th minute despite the win and the fact the team is in first place. Coach Benny Benzakin was booed by many of the Baitar fans at the final whistle the sides far from impressive play. Combined with the limited role fan favorite Yossi Benayun has received, have made Benzakin an unpopular figure. I'm satisfied with this win, said Benzakin. It isn't easy to cope with the booing, but the team is in first place, and at the end of the day, that is what is important to the fans as well. Benayun, who came on as a substitute in the 78th minute, tried to remain diplomatic, but didn't hide his displeasure from his current situation. This isn't what I expected but this isn't the time for me to make any decisions, said Benayun, before hinting that he isn't ruling out a departure in January. Right now I'm here and I'm trying to do my best for the team. Maccabi Tel Aviv could find itself five points behind first place on Sunday should Hapoel Beersheba defeat Iron Ikeri Yachmana at Turner Stadium. Maccabi coach Jordi Kreif heard calls for his head at the final whistle in Netanya after another dejecting showing by his team a mistake by defender Jean Sylvain Babin gifted Ashdod's Mauricio Cordero the opener in the 30th minute and Maccabi could do no more than level the score through Nick Blackman's tally in the 45th minute very, very disappointing performance. Very, very disappointing result, said Kreif. If you want to win you have to start aggressive from the first minute. We lost a lot of simple balls in the midfield and in transition so this is very disappointing. If we want to do something we have to start showing a lot more fighting and a winning mentality. Kreif admitted the supporters had every right to be unhappy the fans have all the reasons to complain. And us the staff and the players have to accept that, he explained also Saturday, BNEI Yehuda registered its third win in four matches, beating BNEI Siknan 3-0.